Hey, ladies and gentlemen, guess who's back? It is D. Da Vinci the Poet, aka James Darnell. Um, before I start this video, I just want to explain a few things like why I've been missing a little bit. Um, first off, I've been busy with work, been doing video video editing for you know others. Uh, I've been having some some you know personal things you know with family and everything. Uh, everybody's doing good. So um, hey. Without further ado, roll that beautiful bean footage. So today's video, kind of do a little fragrance haul of some fragrances that I've bought um, in the past. And um, let's start. So with the first fragrance, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's a bang for your buck. You can get this from the rack stores for like 15 bucks. And don't knock that you might not see this one in packaging. Like you might not see it in a box. You might just see it by itself on the shelf. But please do not pass this up. It is so nice. And that's On the War by Jean Marc Paris. I've heard Tattoo is even better. But if it's better than this, then Tattoo has got to be a beast mode. Because this right here is beastly. You can get 180 ml, 6.0 ounces of this stuff right here for literally 15 bucks. It is just, oh my God. It's like sweet with like, I think Tonka Bean Vanilla, something like that. It's spicy. It's woody. It's it's just perfect for date night. This is a sexy fragrance. So definitely get your hands on this. Probably the best fragrance I have in the collection. Um, In this fragrance hall, John Mark Paris, Om Noir. Another sexy one that I'm going to uh, bring up. Not as sexy as that, but still a good one. This is a hidden gem because I literally... Cannot find it too many places, but when I found it, I decided to buy it after I looked up notes and things like that. But that's from the house of Perry Ellis. Perry Ellis EDT. It's it's really good. It's actually my girl prefers this one over Om Noir, which I was so shocked and surprised. But they're both, oh my god, they're both sexy fragrances from the house of Perry Ellis. It's Perry Ellis EDT. Next one is a, uh, another fragrance that people might not know about. I didn't really know about it um, at all, but um, not really much about it online. But it smells really good. It's really good for this time because it's extremely hot. Um, it's got like this lemony lime kind of vibe to it, but it's Jared Lane for men. You see? The, the color of the bottle actually describe, <laughs> describes it perfectly. I mean, it's it's a nice fragrance. It's, wow. It should be talked about more. When I seen it, I just like, I like the look of it. So I bought it. Definitely wasn't disappointed. It's Jared Lane. People buy this for collectors. They don't really buy this for the performance. They don't really buy this for the longevity. But I'm going to say it anyway. CK1 Summer 2021 edition. I mean, smells really good, but it just doesn't last. You know, that citrusy vibe, things like that. Good to bring on the vacation. If you're going to the beach, you know, things like that. You're going on an island, Hawaii, Jamaica, you know, things like that. Really good for that. But that's CK1 Summer 2021. <clears throat> Next is Banana Republic 06 Black Platinum. A lot of people say that this is more feminine. It's a unisex fragrance, but a lot of people say it's more feminine. I don't agree with that. I, I agree that it's unisex, but I don't think it's like super, super feminine. But... It does the job. It's a very light scent. I 
I mean, a lot of Banana Republic scents do have a beast mode, longevity and projection, like Dark Cherry and Amber, Tobacco and Tonka Bean. But this one is good for the uh, summertime because it's light, it's fresh, and it does the job, you know, pretty well. So that's 06 Black Platinum from Banana Republic. Next is a classic scent, you know, does the job, you know, good for fall time, and that's the original John Barbados. A little spicy, woody, almost barbershop feel to it, but it's good, you know, bought the gift set for like 30 bucks. You get 4.2 ounces of this, and you even get a travel spray of this too. So if you're going on a plane and you know you can't take the full bottle with you because you want to take it with you when you carry on, then you get the actual travel size too. And then also with that, you get a little bitty sample size of Artisan Pure, which is a good fragrance for the summertime. For some reason, they don't put an atomizer on it. So you have to just like splash it on you, but smells amazing. Heavy on the musk, like you can tell it's really a musky type fragrance, but um, smells really good. So that's Artisan Pure from John Barbados. So, all right, that's it folks. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fragrances that I've bought um, in a while. I'm gonna do some more videos. I do have, uh, I really wanna do um, a house review on the House of Banana Republic because I've been smelling a few Banana Republic scents and they all have been like so underrated. So I appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend's mother, father, sister, brother, cousin. Adita Vinci, the poet, does poetry and scent reviews. I love you guys. God bless. Stay tuned for the next one and peace.